Good morning, it's April the 26th, Tuesday. Um, it's about nine o'clock. Beautiful day, absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm out with Jenny. Say hello, Jenny. She's not a performing monkey. Um, yeah, I had a really good weekend. I'll tell you more about it later because I just want to enjoy the sunshine and the view. Hello, it's 10 o'clock and the shop is open. I put um, some planters outside that I got. Um, also got some tomato plants out for sale there to see if they sell as well. Um, a couple of signs. I've got my wax melt going, it smells delicious. I've gone back for lemongrass and ginger. I'm hoping that I'll get those other new ones that I ordered in later on today, but she's working in her full-time job at the moment, so <laughs> she's struggling to get it done. Um, had a really, really lovely weekend. So we had a friend come over. He came over on Saturday afternoon. So when I finished work, we sat in the backyard and had a few drinks. Then we went to the pub. I know, the pub. Had a few more drinks. Um, and then Sunday, uh, we were going to go to the morning carpet, but it was raining when we woke up. So we went to the afternoon one. It was a little bit disappointing, but I'll show you what I got in a little while. And then we went out for an absolutely gorgeous meal on Sunday evening. And then yesterday, I went into Exeter and met Caroline, did a bit of shopping. Didn't get as much as I thought. I was kind of like in a shopping mood, wanted to get stuff, but she just wasn't finding exactly what I wanted. In Primark, there was loads of pastels. It was so 80s, it was incredible. I went some like 70s stuff, psychedelic stuff as well, which was a bit mad. Um, I ended up buying a dress from H&M. If I can find a picture, I'll show you. And a pair of jeans from Primark. And that was your lot. Right, I'm gonna get myself sorted. I'll catch up with you in a bit. It's about quarter past 10 and I've had a decent sale to start the day. That's always a nice way to start the day. I wanted to say thank you to Jane who ordered on my website. I posted that this morning. I did just have a quick scroll on um, the H&M site and I found the dress that I bought. Um, the first photo I think doesn't do it justice at all. And then the second photo, the lady's in a very strange pose, but um, it was perfect it was just what i wanted i would have got another one i wanted another one in like a dark color with more ditzy sort of flout floral but they all had like puffy sleeves or um wrap top i can't do a wrap top that kind of thing which just didn't work so i only got the one dress but it is very nice um what else was i going to show I'll come back to you when I remember. The latest trend seems to be in shoes was these PVC, like clear PVC tops and then really weird sort of wedged heels, really odd. I took a photo of one of them, see if I could find it and stick it in. But yeah, definitely not my cup of tea. I've got a very small car boot haul to show you today. So it will only take 
a few minutes. <laughs> I got a couple of these Denby mugs. I might take those upstairs to give them a bit of a clean. A couple of planters. A um, couple of jugs. This one's rather nice. Beautiful green colour. There's no maker's mark. Feels very old, um, but difficult to say. But wouldn't that look fantastic with some beautiful flowers in it? Love it. Just a few more things to show you. Um, I've got this jug. Pottery one. It does say handmade in Greece underneath. I'm always attracted to blue. So that was that one. This clock. I've had one exactly like this and sold it, so I thought. But the only thing is, I realised it needs a <clears throat> C battery, which I don't know if I've got any C batteries to test it. I must have had at some point. Um, I got this Pyrex dish. Um, I know some Pyrex is valuable. I haven't Googled this one yet, so I don't know whether it is or not. It has got the lid, but the lid's got a chip, unfortunately. So I'll probably try and sell it without. And then there was just a couple more this things. This little wicker set of shelves. And the only other thing is this chest set, which I haven't checked yet to see if it's complete. And this huge set of dominoes. There's absolutely stacks in there. And they're ideal for, you know, braille sort of thing they've got these ridges so you can easily feel which ones they are let's get them out and see how many's in there it's about quarter past one and it's very quiet to be honest um my son's just been in say hello so that was nice i've had my lunch i've bitted and bobbed have done a few posts online um you know social media stuff what was i going to say oh so i looked up the pyrex I think I'm going to sell it for about 15 quid, 18 quid, something like that. So that's not bad. Um, just out of interest, I put into eBay a vintage Pyrex, sold, list by highest price. You try it. Oh, my word. Surely nobody pays. What was it? 1,000 something? Hang on. Let me see if I can find it. Right, orange barcode, 1961 rare promo gourmet gold, like a roundish and lid, 1,573 it says. That's, it's got to be money laundering, hasn't it? Because nobody pays that for a Pyrex dish. That's annoying. One shot. Shows you how observant I am. I didn't even notice it, look. Oh, can I get it out? Nine dots. So it's a different sort of dominoes. And there's 55 in the box, which after having Googled, that's the correct amount. Hurrah. It's about quarter past three. It's very, very, very quiet. Although given the choice, I think I'd be out in my garden if I had one. It's absolutely Stunning out there. My husband came back from the allotment just in a t-shirt. I've still got all my thermals on. I've been listing things on my website today and um, pricing up some of the stuff that I got from the car boot. If you want to look at my listings on my website, there is an easy way of looking at the latest listings. You just go to the first page and then you'll see on the right hand side it says random and if you click on that, the arrow by the side of that, then go to latest, you'll see things in order as I list them rather than just randomly generated. That was embarrassing. I was doing my piece to my vlog. Didn't realise there was somebody in. I've run out of oomph now. <laughs> I've kept myself going, keep kept busy the whole time, but now I've got no more oomph. I've gone right off this nail varnish. I don't think I'm going to wear it again. I put it on and straight away I made boobs in it like that. Um, but I don't. Yeah, it's too shiny. So once this is off, it's not going on again. Um, sorry, I got distracted by my nails. It is about 20 to four. I think my son, my eldest, will be here in about, in the next half an hour, so that's good. Um, my daughter's cooking. She's making, she calls it uni pasta, basically pasta with a tomato sauce with all the veggies chucked in. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, 
and I need to get myself organised this week because I'm going to Nottingham at the weekend to take my daughter back to university to go and see my mum and family and hopefully visit some other people too. Um, so I've got quite a lot to do this week. Busy, 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 which is frustrating when I've got loads to do in the house, but I'm in the shop, but I'm not busy. You know what I mean? Because I'm sitting there thinking I could be getting on with things upstairs. Never mind, never mind. Um, forgotten. Middle aged brain, let me down. Wax melts should be here anytime too. So I'm going to love you and leave you. I will show you the wax melts next time I do a video. But in the meantime, look after yourselves. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.